Good evening, we're on Don Outdoor Adventures again, and today we're going to show you how to skin a gar out. A lot of people think he's got a lot of bones in him, but uh, he's actually pretty good eating. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I uh, started off, I put, a, I put a screw down through his head here to keep him from moving. So he's in my board pretty good there. So he won't move. I'll try to get a look closer on him. But uh, I've already cut with my gut blade on my uh, deer knife there. Try to zoom in just a little bit. Okay. So now I got him pretty much land here and you want to put this rag over his teeth right there fold it a few times so you can hold him but i took my gut blade and i put it up hooked it up here first and it came down same way on the sides i cut down the side okay now i'm getting ready to go down the side of him and cut the same way with this gut blade and the skin is like armor so you want to be careful with it not cut you so you want to come down through here just like that now you can take your catfish skinners and you can go in there and grab that hide like so Take some pliers and do the same thing. So now you can just pull that hide just like that off of there. And there you have it. There's that tough hide right there. And there's that part. Now a lot of people think he's got a lot of bones. I'm going to show you you don't. I'm going to fillet him right on top here. Just like that. I'm doing down touching the ribs. Now I'm going to go through and get that part of the meat. Make sure y'all can see all of that. I'm going to cut it off right about there. And there's a strip of meat right there. Number white meat. Make sure y'all can see all that. Yeah, right there, just like that. Get a close up on it. You see, that's all ribs right along there and the dorsal top of his back. But this right here is all white meat. Nothing but meat, no bones, no nothing. And you can nibble, I mean, you can cut that into little, little chunks and it'll be really, really good. See, I'm gonna fillet this out some more, going over the ribs. And just like that, all white meat. You gotta look gray, but you can trim that off of there. Just like that. Trim it right off. And see, there's no bones in that. No bones whatsoever. And there you have it. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Get my gut blade here and hook it. Hook it right on there like that. Go right down that belly. Take this one, hook it in there, come along the top side, and you just pull that meat, I mean pull that hide, right off of there. There 
there you have it. Do the same thing. Find that dorsal top fin. <clears throat> Just go right down the center. Make sure y'all seeing all that. You can see that top fin now. That's the ribs right there on both sides and on top. And like I said, like I said, there's the uh, top of that, what I call the top of the ribs or the, the back. And you just, like I said, you come down here and you just keep on cutting with your knife. Like I said, there you go. Now, of course you get more meat with a bigger gar, but I caught this one. And as you, there you have it. Like I said, I uh, put a nail, drilled a nail in my board here. Let's see if I can get it off of here. There we go. There's that nail right there. And like I said, there's the ribs, top of the top of this back, and the ribs over there. And right down along the downside of there is all the meat. So there you have it. Gar cut up, ready to go. Make some nuggets out of it. Trim that red meat off, and there you have it, garden nuggets. And like I said, a lot of people think he got a lot of bones, but I'm telling he don't, he's good. There's the skin and all that rough stuff over there that I peeled off. And like I said, using your deer gut blade or a real sharp knife and pliers <clears throat> will help you get through that hide. Back in the day, my mom used to beat it with a baseball bat and loosen the meat up, and then she would take it all out of there. But there you have it on Don Outdoor Adventures. Let's see. Let me get, get me on the picture now. There you have it on Don Outdoor Adventures. Good old Gar. A lot of people think that he's uh, not edible, but I tell you, he's a good one. Yes, yes. All them teeth there, but like I said, the bigger, bigger ones you get, the more meat you can get out of them. We'll see you next time on Don Outdoor Adventures.